Hey everybody, at BV Matson here. Quick video. I think after doing like four or five bikes here, I've really settled in on the paints and the clear coats that really rock, okay? For these old Hondas, I really, really recommend the roll bar and chassis paint from VHT. Get the satin. The gloss is a little bit too much, but man, for the frame, swing arm, any of the black bits that you've got to deal with, this VHT roll bar and chassis uh, really can't be beat. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. Um, I'm just going to stick with this from here on out. I've tried a bunch of different black paints, and this is really the only one that stands up. It's really durable, and it goes on really, really clean. So VHT roll bar and chassis, if you're painting your frame or any of the black bits on your motorcycle. Now, once you get color on things. I don't care if it's the tank. I don't care if it's the frame. I don't care what you're doing. Guys, spend the money and get the Spray Max 2K Clear 3680061. I buy these in a four pack off of Amazon and this stuff is bomb proof. It's really what I used on all of the bits here on the 67 Super Hawk. It's a little bit dusty, but this clear coat hasn't even been polished yet. And that's what I used on the 74125S. 2K clear coat, it's a two-part epoxy. No, it's not epoxy, it's a two-parter. Is it epoxy? I have no idea. But basically there's a little cap. You break the cap, you put the cap in the bottom, you crack the can, you shake it. Two minutes before you pop the cap and then two minutes afterwards shaking this stuff is really, really, really important. But man, if you're gonna do anything with clear coat, 2K clear, it's fuel resistant. I learned the lesson the hard way on my 70 CB350. I used, let's see, what did I use on that? I used this jam and clear acry acrylic clear coat, had a little gas accident and it totally ate that tank. So stay away from anything acrylic or anything really you know, off the shelf unless you can get the 2K Clear Glamour. It is absolutely beautiful. I mean, just look at these results on the Super Rock. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. It's gonna be great. And then the other thing is I always like to undercoat the fenders. Um, I've used a bunch of different stuff. I've used the Flex Seal, I've used other brands, but the Rust-Oleum undercoating goes on really easy. Um, it goes on really smooth which is really nice. It doesn't like glob out of the container. So you get these big blotches here and there. The uh, Rust-Oleum undercoating, um, highly recommend that. You might as well undercoat the fenders while you're at it. So, I mean, if you're just kind of DIYing yourself through rattle cans, and I'm telling you, it can be done. I mean, this is all rattle can work here. Even this tank back here and you know, every bike, <laughs> every bike that I've done so far has been rattle can. I need to graduate to the, uh, you know, pressurized uh, painting, but uh, it can be done at home. DIY. Again, VHT roll bar and chassis. Recommend that for all the black bits. Get the satin though. Get the satin. Try to resist the urge to get the gloss. It's, it's a little bit too much. Um, Spray Max 2K Clear. 3680061 for the win. The stuff is bomb proof. And for any undercoating, really liking the Rust-Oleum undercoat. So I uh, just wanted to throw that out there. I know a lot of people ask a lot of questions about different kinds of paint. The one paint I would definitely stay away from, I would definitely stay away from the Rust-Oleum Professional High Performance. This stuff right here, you know, I thought Professional in the name brand was going to like nail it, but... Um, it's not that durable. Um, it'll chip off. I used this on a frame. And as I was putting the frame, you know, putting all the bits onto the frame, this stuff was flaking off um, pretty bad. So I would stay away from this. Nothing against Rust-Oleum, but just for our applications on these motorcycles, <sighs> no bueno. I would stay away from it. So hope you enjoyed the video. Just wanted to throw that out there while I had all the paint rocking and rolling. So uh, if you enjoy the video, please don't forget to subscribe. Also, um, if you want to join a community full of a bunch of fellow restorationists and motorcycle enthusiasts, hit up the Keep On Wrenching community group on Facebook. And uh, also, don't forget to hit up keeponwrenching.com. 
that is where you can request that free Keep On Wrenching sticker. All right, everybody, there we go. VHT 2K Clear Rust-Oleum Undercoat. That is for the win, and I think you're going to end up with some beautiful, beautiful projects. All right, we'll see you in the next video or live stream.